All right, guys, welcome back to the show. We like starting off with something fun. I've got my boys here, but don't worry, I'll do the intro right after this. We're starting off with this thing I found on Amazon. It's called Red Pill and Chill. So apparently, based on what the box says, it's supposed to have hot topics that will spark exciting and thrilling conversations with anyone at any game night, housewarming, guys night in, date night, birthday party, all, everything. All right? So I've been waiting on you guys. We're going to pull this real quick and see that's how we're going to start the episode off all right you try to pick one or you want to switch yeah, no. to one pick one i want i want pick one all right take your pick yeah. can i go now top top one all right i will pick from <laughs> the dead center okay Oh, yes, okay, all right. I'm good, are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's go. Who's first? Uh, I'll go first. Uh, so, <laughs> Red Pill and Chill. So, mine is, have you ever been on a date knowing you're not attracted to the person? If so, why? I have never. I could never go with somebody I don't find attractive in some way. I could, actually, that's a lie. I have been a wingman for people before with girls who I have zero interest in. And I'm doing the job. If the job is for you to, to you know, succeed, get through, yeah, I'll help you. Fine, that's fair. Court. I mean, I think, I've, I think it's happened to me once where I was more caught up with the conversations that we used to have. And then the conversations were so good that I would say, hey, we should link up. Yeah. And then immediately you realize different vibe. Exactly. Different vibe. You're Not like, the same nah, person. This, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was clearly had a different picture in my head how oh, this was going this, then this is not it yeah yeah, yeah. okay Sage a girl that you didn't like at all that yeah. you're not attracted to I'm not attracted to yeah. I have gone on Wait, one time <laughs> one time <laughs> but the thing is I don't think I can even say it <laughs> <laughs> I think I know I think you know I think I know <laughs> There were things being said <laughs> that were top class. So even though I wasn't attracted as a man, it's curiosity that always yeah, yeah, yeah. gets the best of me. Okay. All right. <laughs> let me go. Let me go. Let me go next. Mine says, could you accept being with someone? Could you accept being someone's sneaky link? Why or why not? My answer is yes. Could I accept being a sneaky link? Of course I can. Because I don't feel the need. I don't. I, if... If I'm the main guy, sure. If I'm the sneaky link, keep it business, keep it professional, I'm good. I don't mind that. I don't mind being a side piece. I mean, disclaimer, this is, whereas it's being a sneaky link and you're single and... Yeah, yeah, ah, okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, of course, for sure. You say yes? You know, you know everything. You know the intricacies. You know his work schedule. You know when he's coming home. You know when she can't talk. You know why she can't talk. I mean, what's every guy's dream? Okay. Sage? <laughs> <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? I couldn't be. Why? Uh, if, if, you, if you are single. If I'm single now, I'm, I'm a lover. So, most nights I'll be like, you're with him, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, you could manage me. I could manage it. I have two feelings. Touch your feeling. Okay, damn. That's crazy. Nah, That's it, crazy. It, it, it'd be tough. I couldn't be a side man. Huh? I couldn't be. Crazy. As in, it's crazy. I've been too much involved. Like, yeah, where were you? <laughs> as a man. Why you smell like him? <laughs> I said, as a my anniversary. Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. Damn. So you say, if Valentine's Day come, you couldn't be the, the you couldn't be the side man. No, no, no. You, could, you couldn't take her out the weekend after no. Valentine's Day. You just spend Valentine's Day crying. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. Blocker and unblocker. All right. What's yours? Um, point enough. What's your favorite way to receive affection? My favorite Hold way. on, wait, wait, wait. Their first choice is A to E. Okay, there's oh, options. Okay, all right, go. Gifts, words of affirmation, physical touch, acts of service, or quality time. Oh, I'm going to go with acts of service. Yeah, I'm going to go with acts of service. Because to me, if, like, if you do something for me, that means a lot. So you don't have to give me things. But like, if you help me out when I need help, if you do the, like, I guess the intangibles, that kind of thing, then yeah. So I'll take acts of service. Good. Yeah, for me, quality time, hands down. I said, my time is the most valuable thing I have. So if I spend time with you, whether it's... Because the majority of everything that I do, it's either work, study. So if I find time to spend with somebody, 
that's the most thing that's valuable to me, especially yeah. at this point in my life. So yeah, okay. if I give you time, time is it. Courtney's a doctor. Courtney saving life, studying and everything there. No normal no normal guy yeah. would say <laughs> would say quality time. That's actually the last on my list. Okay, what's yours? What's first? Uh, acts of service. Acts of service. Okay. Fam, if you cook me a scrambled egg in the morning, yeah, without me asking, my God. All right. Tell me you good. love me. <laughs> <laughs> Bones off of my ears. <laughs> All right, that was good. So, red pill and chill. I think this is something we'll keep. So, this will be like our thing. Red pill and chill to start the episode. Sage reeks of estrogen. Oh, damn. No. Damn. I'm just emotional, bro. In, in tune. All right, guys. Welcome to the show. So, I we finally found a name for the show. It's called The Show. So, The Show with Tomo TV. How you guys feel about that? I like it. Yeah? Very simple. Clean. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, is so the show with Tamo TV. The show with Tamo TV. Does it feature anybody? Is there is our names in there, or is this rotation of people every week? I don't know. You you do you want us to have a name for ourselves? That might be season two. So season one right now is just a show. Uh-huh. Season two can come up with something else. Yeah, I'm cool. With Diversify. It. Okay, I'm good. With it. All right, guys. Hope you are enjoying so far. That was Red Pill and Chill. I've got two of my best friends here with me, Courtney and Sage. Of course, their profiles are on the screen. You guys can see. Follow them. The whole nine yards and yeah this is our show right now so we're going to continue yeah. and i have the outline for us we're going to continue with the question of the day so we start off with a question that the guys have to answer as best as possible <coughs> and hopefully it's fun for you guys now the question of the day is what is an animal a big animal that you think you would beat in a fist fight all right i have mine What's an animal that you guys, a big animal that you guys think you would beat in a fist fight? Go up answer first. Yeah, if I just said big, just threw me off. Like, yeah, big animal. So my big animal I'm choosing that I'm sure I can beat in a fight is a giraffe. I can beat a giraffe in a fight. You know why? A giraffe has so much neck. I can, squ- I can, I just Wait, 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 wait. If, if, can, can, can we like pull up like on the screen a giraffe like? Fighting each other. Yeah, there'll be a screen. Oh there'll no, be a, no, for a sure. Screen. They, when they, okay, no problem. I can't beat a giraffe. Goodbye, Simon. That's it. You know. No, Goodbye, I can't beat a giraffe. I can't beat a giraffe. Okay. I can't beat a giraffe. Of course you can. Gir- First of all, giraffes are not like a gorilla. They don't have hands. They just have feet Take and the feet and neck. Way. Huh? I love yeah, neck. plenty neck. The moment you come down to bite me, I'm grabbing your neck and to I'm bite you. Think that's I'm what he's gonna do? I'm gonna have you like this. I'm gonna be like this, the giraffe. I'm gonna say yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cry to your mama. Yeah, that's me. I can beat a giraffe. When men reach 30, they believe they can do anything in us. Yeah, no, facts. Yeah, facts. This is why women outlive men, because we have thoughts like that. <laughs> we have thoughts like that. I saw a video of a giraffe <laughs> literally kick a lion in its mouth Just and me. paralyze it for the rest of its life. But yeah, but I'm so fast that the giraffe couldn't kick me. I said a lion. Okay, I'm quick, you, bro. I'm quick. My reaction time. <laughs> yeah. You guys, what's a big animal that you think you can beat in a fist fight? Being realistic, bro. <laughs> yep. Give me a chimpanzee. Think I could take it. A chimpanzee? That's yeah, not bro. a big animal. Well, anything. Okay. anything. I give you a, could you fight an orangutan? Huh? An orangutan. Definitely. <laughs> no. What what, what? what? What movie was that? Um, Planet of the Apes. Yeah, you see those things. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I. The question literally was the biggest animal you could fight and win. I might fight no orangutan and winning. Okay, Sage, yours. So my thought process was starting at a small animal and working my way up the yeah. chain. Okay. And I started at a cat, a domestic cat. Yeah. And one beat me a couple of years ago. <laughs> and I tapped out. Okay. Scarring out to prove it. Yeah. So anything bigger than a cat, I cannot beat. That's crazy. I cannot beat it. So you're telling me that like, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe an orangutan or like a really big monkey. Breaks into your house at night. You have to defend your family's honor. You won. <laughs> yep. You won the title to my house. <laughs> okay. No. To be uh, fair, I saw something where they said that when gorillas fight each other, that the the, the winner takes the loser's family. Like you know. The whole thing. Yeah. The, yeah. The wife and the kids and everything. Not the kids. Yeah. The kids. So if that really breaks into my house, <laughs> we're going to do on the first, bro. <laughs> I'll see you soon. 
<laughs> All right, so I'm going to stick with my answer. I'm fighting the giraffe. Courtney has um, the orangutan that he is going to lose to. Okay. Right. Try fight. And Sage is just giving and up the entire cat. <laughs> Domestic cat. Maybe. Mm. All right, I know Courtney has something for us. He has a fun fact, a doctor's fact or something. Or how does it go? Right, so there's this, there's this quote that um, comfort breeds complacency. So what there, there's this recent thing that everybody's been trying. You've been seeing the, the trends. Person's been doing fasting. Person's been doing that cold challenge, cold water where they yeah. plunge, right? So what the, what the studies have shown is that when you put your body under extreme stress, your body, it forces your body to become efficient. Yeah. So any cell that is diseased, not pulling weight, the body actually has to get rid of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? And they say if you do these things um, frequently enough, so persons will recommend it. They even have no recommendation. So if you're going to do a cold water plunge, it's for two minutes, at least three times a week, and it's shown to decrease your cancer risk and decrease aging. Also, fasting, the longer you fast, Right, so this whole intermittent fasting thing, yeah, it's good person to it for weight loss, but also, right, the less food you take in over a longer period of time, your body actually recycles unhealthy cells, so you end up living longer. Okay. So, so the process they call it is called autophagy. Auto means self, and phagy means eating, so it's self eating. So the cells actually. But is that get, good? That's not like your body's eating itself. No, it's actually because body body is like a system. It's like a well oil machine any part of the machine that's not working when it's stressed out means that it's not efficient and the body gets rid of it so if you're so comfortable you're pouring in all this food that you're eating you're not exercising you're always seeking comfort you harbor cells that are unhealthy and those things grow into later problems down the line okay so with the with the cold water thing i saw a video on tiktok where a guy was talking about um the best way to burn calories is to do like cold water plunges and he gave an example where i think it was, it was michael phelps mm, right and michael phelps apparently he had to increase his caloric intake to mm-hmm. some ridiculous number because, like 10 like just 10 because 000. the water took a lot more to cool his it, took, yeah, the, it cooled the, his body more the pool that he was swimming in was, was four degrees it's, lower than what he was used to so he had to increase his calories to like make up for the weight loss yeah that was being caused by the cold water yeah so it really is really a your body should never be in a period of just general just comfort for a long period of time okay right yeah okay. so it's it's really happening there's so many questions oh. all right <clears throat> go ahead you said when your body is under stress so when my alarm doesn't go off in the morning and i wake up late for work for my nine to five job right and i'm fully stressed mm-hmm. that means i'm burning no so i might live forever to be no, honest no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> No, so the, no, so that, that that stress, it's it's not it's not consistent. It drop. No, I no, promise no. you, no. it's Monday to no, Friday. It's, it's, it's not consistent enough. So it's not physical stress. You you haven't put you me, you're mentally stressed and it spikes. You have a spike and then it comes down. Mm. While the plunge pool, your body's under stress for a good amount of time fasting. It's like a peak. A it's like it goes up and it's it stays like dead pool. It's like dead pool. Mm. Remember how dead pool had to go in the chamber mm. and suck almost all the oxygen out for his like x gene to work it's like that yeah so that's I, need to, I need to i need to almost die yeah pretty much right yeah right. it's not all, right yeah yeah it needs it needs to be extreme stress. so they recommend especially the intermittent fast because if you think about it intermittent fasting most persons do it within a six hour window right it means that for 18 hours you're not putting your body into any any nutrients or caloric intake at all your body has to recycle itself to ensure efficiency. So waking up late for work don't count. Well, yeah, it doesn't count. What? Or work doesn't count. No, that doesn't count. No. What about sports? Huh? When you watch sports. As in when you no, not play sports. When you watch sports <laughs> and your team loses, like that stress is that's a physical stress on my body. <laughs> and it's extended. I can't walk. <laughs> it's, the, it's, the, it's the whole length of the game. That could be like Where's the bit on the match. Yeah. Okay. It's physical, like, you can't you won't vomit. No, I think it it it, it has to have it, not, it, can, it cannot be emotional translated to physical. It has to be purely physical. You have okay. to physically put your body under strain. Okay, I guess that's the same reason how they say you have to like constantly up your weights in the gym for your right. muscles to grow. You have to like stress your muscles out. Yeah. So I guess it's like an yeah. actual physical thing. Physical thing. So how long should I cold plunge for? Because I put an ice it's, pack on my ankle over there and it lasts well, 10 seconds. Like two minutes. That's what I recommend. Three times a week. 
Three times a week. Yeah. You never had to the ice baths? No, because ice is four fifty a bag. <laughs> and if I times it by three. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, that was that was a fun fact. That's a fun, that's an interesting fact. So you have to keep your, keep yourself under stress. Keep phase. yourself under physical stress so that you can get the best out of your lifespan. Okay. To be gotcha. fair, I feel like if I do the cold plunge, I probably get used to it after six months. Is that a thing? Would I ever get used to it, or is this a? It'd be just a constant no, cold. I promise you, you don't ever get used to ice baths. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. I cold, promise you're you. You're at a cold shower. I, 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 I promise, yes, I never promise you. You don't ever get used to yeah, ice never, baths. Never, never, never. All right, so what was the name of that? What was the it's name? It's called autophagy. Autophagy. Right. All right, so y'all can Google that one and make us know what y'all think in the comments about it. So we are going to continue. I do have something for you guys, and this is going to bring us into a different segment. Um, one of the things that the three of us enjoy, we enjoy our TV shows, but specifically we enjoy anime. Right? Yes. Anime is our thing, and we have a couple of gifts. I have something ready for you guys. Ready? Good. All right. So this one, this first one is for Courtney. No, it's for Sage, sorry. No. Sage, that's all you. Oh. And Courtney, this is all you. Damn, damn, damn. There you go. So I got you guys some Funko Pops. You can show it to the camera so they can see what you got. I got, um, Sage got the Killer Bee. So I was trying to find based on our favorite anime, right? I know all three of us enjoy Naruto. Um, and I think Killer Bee is kind of like... The best. Kinda, yeah, is, I think he's my favorite, Jinchuriki. And I think he's also like... Sage. Sage. He's kind of like Sage. He's kind of you. He's kind of chaotic. He's kind of fun. He's enjoyable to be around. He's just... He's you. Make me blush. Hey, I'm yo. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I know Courtney's a guy who, like he says, likes putting his body under that kind of stress. Yep. So I figured... No better stress than the inner eight gates. Guy That's sense it. That was all you. And I got one for myself as well. I'm not sure if y'all would agree this is me. All for one. Yeah, definitely. No, for what? sure. <laughs> what? Definitely. <laughs> what do you mean? So I got all for one. No. All three of these, and it brings us to our um, sponsor of the day, is going to be the Anime Merchant. Ooh. So, the Anime Merchant has given us a quick uh, breakdown of what Anime Merchant is, so I'm going to read it for you guys. But, the Anime Merchant is Jamaica's reseller of anime merchandise slash, well, merchandise. Uh, they provide a wide variety of anime merch at an affordable price, and you can find them at their brand new website, theanimemerchant.com. Uh, their tagline, weeb your heart out. You know, the weebs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they gave us these, um, these, these Funko Pops, and these are now ours oh, yeah. for the show, so we can always keep them here. We can have them with us. Uh, the collection might grow. And um, yeah, I thought it was something that we could enjoy. Oh yeah, I loved it. Loved them. Yeah. Can I give you two fun facts? What's that? So I have three anime merchant shirts already. Really? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Well, pause, pause, pause. Before you do the fun facts, that brings me into this because they gave us some shirts as well. Ooh. So this one, I yes, haven't sir. watched this, this show yet. <laughs> and based on the reaction in the, in the room, the, the, the producers are saying, <laughs> That oh. this is a show. I want that. You want this? I want that. Okay. Wait. All right. I'm sorry. Small? That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Marshall. Marshall. Oh. Marshall. Oh, I'm up to date with that. It's Marshall. I'm up to date with that. Oh, it's fantastic. Marshall. That's what it's called. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I have I haven't watched this yet. Apparently, I need to. Yes. Is it? So it's good. Values? Yes. Yeah. It is the S tier of the past two seasons. That's crazy. Okay. All right. That's, that's wow. Crazy. Well, by all means, sure. Um, we also got. Wow. And this is my personal favorite because it's who I am as a person. Dragon Ball. Nice. Fair. Nice. Fair. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. These all look small. No, these are medium. Oh. These are all medium. But yeah, so theanimemerchant.com. Y'all can uh, go over there and buy some stuff. And guess what? I also have something for the audience as well. So if you guys are watching and you do want to get something from Anime Merchant, They've given us a gift card. Now, how you're going to win that uh, is you will have to comment down below what is your favorite anime and why. And this is a 
gift card for I think a thousand dollars off your first purchase or any purchase that you make. Um, it will be sent to you electronically, of course, but this is a physical one I have from Anime Merchant. So if you guys want to win some of your own anime gear or purchase some of your own anime gear, the gift card is there. Just comment down below what is your favorite anime. The winner will be chosen at random. Hope you guys win something nice, buy something nice. But yeah, thank you to the Anime Merchant for hooking us up. Uh, we appreciate it and we yeah. do love our Funko Pops and stuff. So yeah, good. Can we comment in the comments? You're, you're sure, but you can't win. I mean, yeah. You can comment all you want. I'm gonna pick you as a winner. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna leave this here. Producer, is this good for framing? Can this stay right here? Can this just like stay as my little friend? Put in front of the laptop. In front of the laptop here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there you go. Yeah. So we each have our own like, Funko Pops. Um, that brings us into the anime talk of the day. Uh, update for you guys. I have been watching recently solo leveling. Yeah. You watch it? What do you mean? If You're I up to date? Yes. <laughs> My days. Yes. Solo leveling is the first anime mm. in a while that's had me week by week saying, I cannot wait for Saturday to come. I cannot wait for the next one to drop. It's good so far. It's only what, five episodes or six episodes? Five, five or six. It's so good. better than JJK? Yeah. It's better than the first five episodes of JJK so far. It's only five episodes. So I can't okay. I can't say the entire I can't say the whole season, but okay, okay, okay. the first five episodes. For sure. To be fair, episode, the recent episode, episode five, it gave me the same type of goosebumps I got when I had watched Attack on Time. Really? Yeah. No, episode two. That's hyping. Just to despair. That's hyping. <laughs> the, so the fact that everything is going to hell. All right. So since you don't know, um, you don't know solo leveling, basically it's a world where these gates have appeared where demons or like monsters are coming out of. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, humans awakened abilities within themselves so okay. they have like powers and when you awaken with that power you cannot increase or decrease your power your power is if you're say an a rank you're an a rank if you're a b rank you're a b rank Always if you're a c rank. rank you're a c rank right and the star of the show has found a way it's i can't tell you how it happened but it happened in a way that blows your mind he unlocked the ability to like level up or that kind of thing it's good Five episodes gone. Good. Good show. Can I give my two cents? Go ahead. Just on um just on this anime talk. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's just on this anime talk. It's, no, no, it's, no, it's no. very let's go, let's go. It's very relevant. Yeah. Well one is a, one is a story time. Okay, okay. Go. It's a very quick story time. I remember I had gone on a no to drinks with a girl and we we're talking and she said, you know, talking about her past and past dates. And she said, I went out with this guy one time and I went to a date, you know, ate food and then went back to his house. So I was like, all right, nice, nice, nice. And she's like, could you be but he put on anime, some Japanese subtitle anime on the TV? And I was like, oh, for real? At that point, which I had, which I, one? Huh? I said, which one? I don't know. I do not know. But I had to have my Naruto keychain. Oh, no. <laughs> I, and I was like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it was happy to be able to talk about it like that. And people ask me, why do you like anime? Why do you like anime? I like anime because it, it, it just... It's the, it, some anime is like the, how I'd want the world to be. Like, I want us <clears> to have <throat> powers and be able to like do things and have these adventures. Anime to me is just the perfect escape from reality. Anime does something that you cannot do in real life. Yeah. Like movies can. I mean, Loki, I think anime is a predictor of the future, to be honest. Pretty sure. Yeah, the next hundred years, who knows what will happen? All uh, these aliens coming. Trust me. I mean, they must get it from somewhere. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Facts. It's not, it's not just a story. It's yeah, actually... It's, it's, yeah, it's some, some... It's like Simpsons. You know, you, I saw the, this whole, the 3D um, gla glasses that Apple has been... Mm -hmm. You know, Simpsons had that years ago. No, Simpsons has been produced in the future years. in a way that I don't yeah, think man. should be legal. Trust me. Quick pause in the video, guys. Hoping you're enjoying it so far. Thank you for all the support. And of course, as usual, I have to give thanks to our sponsor of the episode and the reason why we have this beautiful studio, Choice Business Solutions. So as usual, Choice Business Solutions is your outsourcing partner who handles all things HR-related, payroll, recruitment, and contract management. Focus on what you do best. Let us focus on your people. Thanks to Choice and back to the episode. Last but not least, we're going to end with a story time. And since it's our first episode together, I will start. Did I tell you guys about the time when I almost died in Miami? No. Okay. So, 
Here we go. I went to look for a friend. She told me she was passing through the airport. She was on a layover. It was like eight hours and she wanted company, right? So I said, okay, I will meet you there. Now, for me to get to the airport, I had to take, I had to walk 1.3 kilometers. I had to take a bus to the train station, take the train to the airport, and then the same thing coming back, right? Now, I met up with her, we had fun, we went out a little bit, um, and I'm coming back home. I got back, so I actually did the reverse order, so I have to go on the train, to, to the, the bus, bus to, walk. to then walk home, mm -hmm. right? I get to the train station at the airport, and I'm sitting down. It's been like 10, 15 minutes, the train not moving. A lady who was cleaning the train comes over and she's like, honey, what are you doing here? I said, I'm taking the train back down to, you know, where I live. She's like, oh, this train isn't going now. You have to take the other train. But the other train goes in the opposite direction. I'm just like, All right, so wait, what, so what do I do? She says, you take that train, you go up one stop, come off the train, catch the next train going back down, mm -hmm. and then you'll be back to where you need to go to. And I'm like, all right, cool. So this time, at this point, it's like nine at night. By the time I got the train from the airport to the other train to come back down, it's about 10.30, 10.45. Miami at night is a different breed of place. You don't see people, you see creatures. Yes. Okay? Yeah. And I am terrified, all right? When I get to the bus station, I'm seeing, you know those people who have, are like, they've, they've taken the Walmart the shopping truck. carts? and look like drug, they're on drugs or drug dealers or yeah, whatever. It's not a, it's, not, it's called a home, not a trolley. It's a home. It's it's, a home. You're right, <laughs> you're right, you're right, right? So I'm surrounded by those people, okay? I get to the bus station and I knew my bus was, for example, number 54, all right? So I go to the guy who is, um, I don't know what you call them. He, he's yeah, in charge of this the the station. Tickets and what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I say, hey, what time is the 54 coming? He says, oh, bro, that bus don't run anymore. I said, what? He's like, yeah, that bus stopped running at 10 o'clock. I said, so, okay, so I'm going here. How do I get to where I need to go to? He's like, bro, you, I don't know. You got to take a different bus, but that bus isn't stopping where your bus stops. It stops like five kilometers away from where your bus stops, but that's the only stop that's near you. So you have to get out there and walk. I say, you know what? If it's what I have to do, that's what I have to do. So I get, I get on that bus. And when I get on that bus, I'm just, it, again, it's packed with the creatures. It's packed with the, the, the same creatures that SpongeBob had when he went into that like <laughs> nice, place, nice. you know? Yeah. That like cavern at night. That's <laughs> what I was surrounded by. See? Now, I'm on the bus. And because it's, it's so full of these people, I'm standing up at the front and there's a guy and the guy is dead center in the middle of the bus and i'm standing in the middle of the bus but he's at the back and he looks fresh out of prison my guy looks like he's been in prison and just doing this the whole time oh, oh, just swole for no reason only has on a, a marina meshed up right so big guy bigger than big, big guy bigger than Courtney? this guy is at least like six foot and huge See? No, he is sitting in the back of the bus, I'm in the front of the bus, and he just looks like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't felt anything in a while. <laughs> I'm fresh out. Just know. I, this, 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 is, this, is me, this is me in the bus. <laughs> right? We get to we get to the stop I had to come off at. And again, this is now like a five kilometer walk mm -hmm. back to my house. See? And I get off the bus, everybody starts filing out. Somewhere along the lines, I lost track of where that guy was, right? <laughs> I get off the bus and I start walking. And I refuse to look behind me, because I'm saying, you know what? Let me just keep going, let me just keep going, everything's fine, keep walking, keep walking. I get to a point where like the street lights aren't working, it's dark as hell, <laughs> okay? And all I hear behind me is, it's like something drags on the ground. Let me give you all a visual of what my reaction was.
when I tell you that Jesus Christ and all his disciples couldn't catch me that night, I ran like my life depended on it because in my mind it did. In my mind, there was somebody behind me doing this. And they were about to grab my shoulder. I ran home. You ever run five kilometers and don't feel tired? I reached, I, there was so much adrenaline pumping in my body when I reached to the house, I did this. <gasps> I couldn't, I didn't remember how to breathe. I was gone. You see in Bolt, couldn't have caught me that night. The disciples couldn't have caught me that night. I have two questions. Go ahead. Two questions. Yeah. You say you heard something drag. Yes. Would it be that he had pulled out, um, he had been close enough to go and pull out his arm? Yeah, I... Pull out what? Pull out what? <laughs> uh, second question. In hindsight, it could have been something as simple as a leaf right. falling on the ground. It could have been. I didn't look behind me. I took off mid-stride, like mid-walk, I just sprinted. I didn't look behind me. To this day, I don't know what's behind me. Question two is um so simple is the reason why this entire story happened why you had taken a train and bus and um, yeah, yeah. Was, once know, again once again fire, fire once again woman i, I just want again. to know how how that went like was um is it's was just, everything worth it was that trip no it, it was it's just my friend it's um is megan simon stop her track and field she was going to our meet and she was just in miami and i was living in miami so i hadn't seen her in like six months and she was like oh i'm passing through the airport if you want to come and say hi so megan if you're watching this you almost cast simon his life i don't i don't i don't know if she knows this story yeah. but yeah life no megan needs to give simon a medal because that 5k yeah, was that definitely 5K. sub sub <laughs> all i'm saying is i know for a fact she has an olympic bronze i'll take it <laughs> But yeah, that was my story time for the day. So you guys will have your own story times later on. Alright. You don't want to hear my stories. Yeah, I want to hear Sai. I do not want to hear my stories. Alright, I think that's about it. You guys have anything else you want to throw in? No? I want to save it for another. Alright, episode two. You have a few. It's It's not good. Episode two. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for showing up as well. Again, their dis- their links are in the description below. Make sure you go and follow them. Thank you for enjoying the show, and we will see you all next time. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share the video with a friend, somebody who you think might enjoy it as well. And yeah, we'll catch y'all on the next one. Yes, sir.